I'm Leroy Keithley from Mounds, Oklahoma, and I want to welcome you to the Real Women of Philadelphia Recipe Competition. Today we've got an exciting side dish, a grilled asparagus with creamy Asian sesame sauce. It's a real crowd pleaser and really easy to make. We're going to start with our ingredients. We have a pound of fresh asparagus. I've trimmed off the ends for about an inch just to cut off the tough portions of it. We're going to use Philadelphia cream cheese. We've got some Greek seasoning, some Kraft Asian toasted sesame salad dressing or marinade. We've got a couple of green onions, some fresh ginger root, some sesame oil, Some kosher salt, some coarse kosher salt, or you can use sea salt. We've got some Worcestershire sauce. And finally, some chow mein noodles. We're going to start with our asparagus. We're going to take a gallon size freezer or storage bag and put this asparagus in here. You can use a marinating dish if you prefer. Um, some people really like to do that. It's just, I just like to conserve space in the refrigerator, so I use bags a lot. Set that aside for just a moment. And we've got our, we, we're going to use one third to one half cup of ginger root. Usually about a third of a cup will do because ginger has a real strong flavor. I've already peeled the ginger root and got it's about a third of a cup is about the size of a small egg or yeah, small to medium sized egg. We're going to take it over here to the food processor and give it a quick mince. Man, that smells good. We're gonna take our, we're gonna take our ginger root, combine it with our asparagus. We're going to use a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce. Add a half a cup of the sesame oil. Seal the bag real, real good. Let some of the air out. We're just going to mix it. We're going to knead it until it's real nice and combined. A little bit like so. And we're going to stick it in our refrigerator and marinate it for one to two hours or even overnight if you've got that much time. This is really simple to make and everybody absolutely loves it and so easy. Once it's marinated, got another one just happened to be handy. We're going to take a baking sheet. We're going to have our oven already preheated to broil with the top rack at the top level. Fried our asparagus. Spread it out evenly. And we're gonna, like so, we're gonna stick it in our oven at broil for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the asparagus starts to darken and becomes a little more tender. Already got some that are made. It'll 
come out looking something like this. And we're going to take it to our serving dish. Once again, spread it out kind of evenly. And while the other is cooking, we're going to make our creamy Asian sesame sauce. We're going to take a half, four ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese, which is about half a stick. We're going to bring it over to the microwave. We're going to microwave it for 45 seconds. I just happen to have some already made. We'll come back. We're going to take three to four green onions and chop them up. Makes about a third to a fourth of a cup. Chop them up kind of finely. You don't need to be real fine, but just, just enough so with a mixer a well. We'll, cut, we'll chop them down to just where it starts to get really leafy. Then in there. We're going to add a fourth of a cup of the, cre the creamy Asian sesame dressing. Now we'll bring it over here and give it a little mix with the mixer. So good. Our mixture will look something like this. We're going to spoon it over our asparagus. Now we've left our oven on broil, so we're going to put this in for about another two to three minutes once we've added all the ingredients. We're going to take some Greek seasoning or the seasoning of your choice, about a teaspoon or two teaspoons, sprinkle it over our mixture, and some coarse salt, about a teaspoon, sprinkle it over our mixture. Now I've taken about a cup of chow mein noodles and I've just crumbled them by hand. And I'm going to sprinkle them again over our mixture. And this is what it looks like right before we put it in. So we're going to stick it back in the oven. For about two to three minutes. Once again, you'll probably need to lower your rack because of the size of your baking pan. But I've got some that's already made right over here. And it'll come out looking something like this. Serves four to six, and it's absolutely delicious. See y'all in Savannah. Bye now.